Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Reagan, it's December 5th, and on this channel I'm reporting on the collapse of civilization by means of abrupt climate change. And at this point in the video, I'd ask that you please thumbs up and like the content. On the phone, it's right below the video. There's a little thumbs up icon. On the computer, it's right below the video. And if you're using a Roku or streaming device, you simply press down where you get to the options where you can choose closed captioning or the speed and there will be a little thumbs up button right there. So we'll take a second, just slather on the meat sass. Keep it coming. And consider contributing to this channel monetarily. Every bit goes a long way. Also, mention some recent bands. Yep, not taking any prisoners anymore. I gave you the warning. I gave you explicit telling of what to do. DC90X from Florida, I saw you commented, but I didn't see the thumbs up. So, ya gone. Ya banned. Uh, Jet, flooding my comments with emoticons? <sighs> Boomer, not acceptable. Ya banned. Oh, but maybe it's the end, maybe it's not. Just some nukes, gonna go to my little Mexican husband. Ya banned. Flooding my thing with emoticons, like I said, unacceptable. No regrets. You either in, you do what I ask, Explic explicitly, I've made over 700 videos, all right? Not gonna get angry, I'm not angry. I'm just telling the rules. You either in or you're part of the problem and you get out. Carbon dioxide is becoming more fearsome, scientists find, in all seriousness. The greenhouse effect is even more potent than we thought. New research has found that the greenhouse effect on carbon dioxide gas, primarily responsible for making our planet hotter, becomes even more potent as more of it is emitted. That grim finding comes from a new study published in the Journal of Science, which looks at the CO2 effects in the stratosphere. They've known that it actually cools this upper region of the atmosphere, but this latest work shows that stratospheric cooling ends up intensifying the greenhouse effect that it causes. So put another way, CO2 is getting pound for pound stronger at heating up our planet. The more of it we pump into the atmosphere. So can you say exponential? Can we say faster than expected? It is yet a further confirmation that carbon emissions must be curbed sooner rather than later. Uh-huh. Not. So, they found that the radiative forcing was increasing by 25% with each doubling of CO2, and since pre-industrial era has nudged up by 10%. So, going forward, in other words, it's become poised to warm at a faster rate than it already has. Alright. That's pretty ominous. In fact, the past decade was the hottest on record as it surged alarmingly, the WMO reports. Between 2011 and 2020, 2020, hottest on record for the planet's land and oceans has surged alarmingly, okay? Hottest year after six months of record global temperatures. 30 year trend in each decade since the 90s has been warmer than the one before it. You know, but didn't Trump give us that uh, check? Didn't he give us stimulus? Here we see a aerial view of iceberg. I mean, we were just berserk. We've gone completely berserk. Okay, yawn. UN cites worrying warming trend again. Summit grapples with curbing climate change as the Pope begs. You know, look at this sad picture of us trying to keep the ice, you know, from melting. And this near Switzerland in June. It's just pathetic. Almost as bad as someone flooding my comments with emoticons. Glaciers shrank more than ever from 2011 to 2020. Lost 75% more than compared to the previous 10 years. That's not good. Each decade has been warmer than the previous, so this is just repeating what I just read. We can safely say where we are going. The world admitting 36.8 billion metric tons in 2023, twice the yearly volume four decades ago. She said in her conference, let's finally get serious. Or not. Let's go on new flights and trips because because the stock needs to grow and the economy grew at 5%. Roundup of news last month, the newest climate record, warmest November, sea surface temperature again from NOAA. I mean, we're skyrocketing. We again touched two degrees from Cop Copernicus. Looks like we'll pass 2C again, marks next month. Series data that it's causing rapid warming. <clears throat> yeah, not anymore. The northern hemisphere used to radiate more heat to the space than absorb from the sun. Not anymore. Again, all this is compounding. 
I know what's happening. This is the end. Look at the science. We're in the end. Ancient method is escaping from melting glaciers could potentially warm the planet even more. You guys knew all about that. Okay, wildfires have erased two decades worth of air quality gains in western United States. It's supposed to be cleaner due to mostly EPA regulations, but the fires have limited and erased these air quality gains, says James John Wang, James E. Ashton Professor, Chair of Department of Chemical and Biochemical Engineering. What? Fortnite? Keep streaming on Twitch. Louisiana's battle against fire, wildfire sparks plea for $43 million boost in funding. Okay, endless record heat in Brazil, blah, blah, blah. Records all over the planet. Not only that, but North American mammals are seeking refuge from the heat in forest habitats. So what the emphasis here is, what the summary is, this recent study led by UC Davis, I've already read this, and to summarize, pumas, wolves, bears, rabbits, deer, and opossums are 50% more likely to inhabit forests than open habitats in hotter regions, while the opposite is true in cold areas. Different populations of the same species respond differently to habitat based on where they are. Climate is mediating difference. An uh, example of this is eastern cottontail rabbit, which prefers forests in hotter areas but tends to occupy human-dominated habit habitats in colder regions. So it's flip-flopped. We have this biodiversity crisis and, and winners and losers in the global ch change, so species, quote, are often categorized based on how they respond to habitat loss. For example, species restricted to natural environments, those that most often occur in anthropogenic habitats, and generalists that do well in both. So we're flip-flopping. Uh, an organism may venture into human-modified areas in benign regions, but retreat into thermally buffered forests, habitats, and areas with high temperatures. Not only that, but these areas that we're setting up so essentially for open habitat, they're saying, no, we actually, prefer, they're too hot. Let's go into the human areas and if vice versa, you can't control nature. That's the emphasis here. Okay. So they analyzed 150,000 records in 29 mammal species published in the proceeding of national uh, Academy of sciences. Not a surprise, but that's animals. You can't control nature where they, where they want to inhabit and what, and what they want to inhabit. All right, so if you want a taste of what America is to look like, there's a really awesome clip of like 40 minute video of colorized post Berlin after World War II. And it was filled with mostly women and children, like overwhelmingly. And just the destruction and the, the foul taste, you know, in the mouths of the people, you know, enduring this fascist re regime and it's it funny Liz Cheney didn't actually say that Trump was fascist but she said he's using fascist techniques tactics so basically he is all right that's been your December 5th he headlines my name's Reagan thanks for your support I'll talk to you soon see ya